Oh, Libra, I meant it's you, my Libra. <laughs> Welcome to Swift Intuition. Had to serenade your Libra for a little bit. You know, I missed you. All right. Welcome to Swift Intuition. If this is your first time on your channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification. If anything resonates, this your girl, Mercy, the one and only. Woo! All right, let's get into this November energy, Libra. Mm. All right, all right. Hey, if you find yourself watching this in one, two, three, four, five, ten minutes pass by, subscribe. It's free for you, and it's great for me. All right, win-win situation. Okay, messages of love and light for our beautiful Libras in the month of November. Messages of love and light. Ancestor. All right, I'm going to take this one first. Flip, flip. All right, we have the... Ooh, okay. I'll tell you like this. So we have the King of Wands. Okay, we got the King. The King. The King is in the building. We have the Five of Pentacles in reverse, which is a good thing. All right. So the Queen of Wands tell me that this is somebody that is action motivated. This is somebody that's a take charge individual. Hmm. Libra, in the month of November, Spirit said, you're going to have this energy like no other. You're going to be like a lion. You're just going to be running through some shit. Yes, that's what I said. That's what Spirit says. You are going to be have so much energy. I feel like everything that you have a desire for, you are going to be moving forward in it. And with this five of pinnacle in reverse, Spirit is saying you are no longer feeling left out in the cold. I feel like in the past where people have slept on you, People have uh, left you out. People have not given you the uh, the proper uh, just do that you know that you that you deserve. And people who have tried to I don't know. People try to make you feel some type of way in the month of November, baby. That ain't your portion. You say you know what? That's all right. I don't feel left out in the cold because your, your stuff ended up being shit anyway. Basically. I'm sorry. This is the uncut version. So if you have sensitive ears, please mute. <laughs> yeah. So in the month of November, it's like this, this energy that you were, that you were in of feeling left out of the cold or feeling like somebody, um, did not consider your feelings or, or just consider you, period. You're no longer in that energy. Spirit is saying that in November, you are going to be going after, after everything that you know that you deserve. It's like all those plate, all those things that you thought that were dark areas, they're going to start lightening up and you are going to have this energy, this zeal. You're going to have so much passion for whatever you're doing. And it's like, you're going to see the positive and everything. We have the eight. I see the eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is you actually studying something. I feel like. Mm, you could have recently went through the dark night of the soul, Libra. Meaning that somebody hurt you to the point to where you were by yourself and you couldn't do anything but deal with yourself. You know what I mean? Deal with the heart and you have to deal with childhood traumas. The reason the reason why this person uh, treated you like this, the reason why you allowed this person to treat you like this. Because one thing that we have to learn when we feel left out by something, we have to understand why do we feel left out? What is it in us that makes us feel that we need that other person? person's energy or need that other person's validation and I feel like right now in the month of November you are going through this spiritual awakening on who the hell you are Libra basically and I feel like you studied yourself because you went through the dark night of the soul recently meaning somebody broke you down to the point to where you had to really deal with yourself it's like it's just you and you you know how why people in jail, like they become so spiritual and stuff because ain't no distractions. You know, they have to deal with they self. It's like you, you may have been in the house going crazy to yourself, talking to yourself, just going through these emotional, um, these emotional things. And it was to bring out the best in you to let you know that you are what you need. The thing about elevation, I don't know why I'm going into this, Libra, but in the month of November, I have a feeling that you are going to be going on this ascension. You are awakening to your, your inner power. 
and you are realizing that all you need is within you. And, and it's like, you're going into an area where you're not trying to please nobody, but your damn self, you know, and you, and, and I feel like you're studying yourself. You've been manifesting, you've been burning candles. You've been, you've been looking, you, you've been doing a little bit of moon magic. I feel like when people say, oh, it's a full moon, like you really start manifesting because now it's like, okay, I'm, it's like you're tapping into this, this spiritual realm of what could be. You're learning how to align your chakras. You're learning how to settle your mind, how to manifest what you want. We have the two of swords. I feel like in the past, like you were, you were torn. You had a decision. It was two things you were passionate about and you had to make a decision. I feel like you made a decision and a decision you made, made you feel like you made the wrong decision. And then instead of, um, Staying in that whoa ye whoa ye emotion, you picked up your cross and you said, you know what, I'm about to get over this. And now I feel like you've been studying ways on how to build yourself up. And this and and, and now this decision is no longer. I feel like the the two the two of swords speaks of a, a decision that you have to weigh. It's like you were kind of blindsided by whatever happened by whatever happened but oh with the eight hey libra we got the ace of cups in the middle of the deck we got the ace of cups this means okay the ace of cup in the middle of the deck means that there is a new beginning in 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 passion there's a new beginning in in um uh, it's like emotional fulfillment. Like in the top of your head, you remember it, it's like something is about to come in. You're about to have a new love that's about to come in. Something in the past that you have to decide on that I feel like you feel like you probably made the wrong decision because this person made you feel left out in the cold. And now, and now because you've been working on yourself, it's like that no longer is keeping you trapped. Whatever happened in the past is no longer keeping you trapped. And you're focused on moving forward. You're focused on, 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 on those things that are going to benefit you. And in the month of November, Spirit is saying that you have a new fresh love coming. It's in the middle to read. This is, and, and also you may have to make a decision on if you're going to pursue this, this love that's coming in for you, or if you're going to go to somebody in the past that made you feel left out in the cold because you're very sexually attracted to this person. And, oh, this point over here, I'm going to take it over here. Yeah. See, but it's like that person hurt you because you got the four of swords and it fell over here. So I'm going to keep it over here by the king of wands. It's like you're so attracted to somebody. And I feel like when uh, you made the decision to choose this person and when you chose that person, that person probably chose somebody else. And they kind of like they left you out in the cold. Then you did some healing. You started working with your chakras. You start, you know, you know what? You started working on yourself. You didn't let that break you down, which more power to you because a lot of people get broken and you ain't getting broken, Libra, because you know what? Use a soldier bot. Now you just pull up your soldier rag. Put up your soldier rag if you a soldier <laughs> I don't know why they came to me, but you a soldier though. And right now with the four swords, this is, you're not paying no attention to that person that hurt your feelings, that hurt your heart. You know, you like, shoot, I got my, I'm resting on this situation. This person could be uh, trying to get to talk to you or something. You like, man, I ain't about to chew. I ain't about to deal with that right now. You know, you got your, look, look, this person got their heart to their side. Nah, Mitch, my heart ain't in my chest no more. You done heard it too many times. Ain't nobody about to play with you. I'm a lion. Mm. <laughs> and I'm only saying that because you got the line in the background. This is your spirit. Your spirit, God, you are really protected. And let me say that right now, Libra. You're very protected. You have somebody praying over you. If you're not praying for yourself, you have somebody that is praying over you. And you have somebody that is watching your back that is very powerful. I feel like you have your ancestors. That's first thing. Yeah. You have ancestors, people who have passed before you that are watching over you. I feel like people, for some of you Libra, some who, whoever, whoever was, you were close to or was close to you when you were a baby and probably passed before you could really know them, they are watching over you and they are really protecting your heart and they are showing you things that, uh, that was hard for you to see at first. And that's the reason why you're healing. Hmm. Oh, you're so loved. Yo, y'all got, 
You got angels that love you. You got your ancestors that's protecting you, Libra. What? It's a lot. Hey, okay, y'all. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm kind of emotional, but I just had this really, this, it's like this, this feel of calm and just love just, just came over me. So Libra, this pain that you went through, the reason why you got over it like you did, some people may say you got over it quick, but it doesn't take away from the pain that you felt. You had, you are protected. Whatever happened needed to happen so you can move forward. So this real love can come in. Your ancestors ain't playing about you, boy or girl. They not playing. They say, this is my baby. This is my bloodline. This is my lineage. And they ain't going to let none of these little earthly demons mess up my baby heart. What? Facts. I'm just saying. But it's, it's you, you really love. And if you ever from one moment think that you are by yourself, don't think that. And they want you to, to really call out to them. Pray. Ask them to come and show you things. Because they're there to help you, believe it or not. And if you're not familiar with this, I feel like you're starting to get in tune with your spiritual realm right now. And it's like you may be in this place of mercy. I'm trying to figure out how can I contact them? How can I do these things? Maybe they within you. All you got to do is talk to yourself. I know people be like, Mercy, talk to yourself. You're crazy. But no, that's where you get most of your information from. Because you, you got to understand that everything we need is already within us. It's only if we listen to that higher power. You already know this. With this Eight of Pentacles, you have been... You've been saging. You've been trying things that you never tried before. This pain that somebody brought to you made you do things that you've never thought you would do before. You starting to 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 to, to, to listen to, to uh, vibrational music. You're starting to light candles, sage your house. You are starting to do things that you didn't think you was gonna do, and you're starting to see the benefit of that. And I just got to say, you are not alone. You have your people with you. Like, your, your spiritual people are with you, watching over you. It's like people be trying to get over on you and they can't because your spirit guy's like, no, hold up. Hold the fuck up. You hear me? <laughs> like, <laughs> they ain't playing. They ain't playing about you. I'm going to get to the tar, but I'm just saying. They just want me to let you know you you something to be reckoned with. So don't think for one second you by yourself because you're not. And then we got the Six of Pentacles right here. First of all, we got the five of pentacles, we got the eight of pentacles, and we have the six of pentacles. So right now, with all these pentacles, it's letting me know that you got money all around you. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right. So I'm going to tell you what I see, right? All right. With this two of swords, it's like you had a decision that you had to make on some type of love. You felt like you made the wrong decision because somebody left you out in the cold, but it was not everything happened for a reason. You needed to go through that pain so that you could know who you are. You could know how to set up healthy batteries. You could know uh, when to recognize red flags and act immediately. It's like, oh, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give people the benefit of the doubt. But you know, as you begin to elevate, you don't give nobody the benefit of the doubt. If they show you who they are, you're going to act accordingly. And now you have this new love that's coming up. This is going to be with the six of pentacles this is showing that in, in i feel like in the past you were deciding on giving to somebody that wasn't given to you you were deciding on trying to give somebody some love that you knew could not love you the right way you knew this and this is what your spirit guys was trying to let you know baby look you cannot go into something knowing that somebody cannot love you the way that you want to be loved because then you're going to always be given it's like you can't fill up somebody's cup and then expect them to fill up your cup when they not even in the in, in when they don't even have the mentality to give. You know, you ever tried to uh you ever tried to build with a selfish person? It didn't work, did it? You knew it wasn't gonna work. You knew they were selfish. You knew they they no. Because they their own personal childhood traumas prevented them from giving to you. And your childhood traumas, it, it, it just keeps you continually giving when you're not getting back. I don't care how attractive you was to that motherfucker. I don't care. What? Which is what I'm supposed to. I'm not about to play with you. We family. Got to tell you the truth. And the truth is, that person wasn't giving to you. Now, since you've been working on yourself, which you notice when you work on yourself and you start loving yourself, you start emanating that love that you have for yourself. And people are like, oh, oh, wait, he loves himself. I'm going to love him, too. Oh, she loves herself. I'm going to love her, too. Have you ever walked by somebody and you could see their insecurities? They walk with their head down. They just like, 
Mm-hmm. Like you can tell, they don't know who the hell they are. So it's easy for people to spot that and for people to attack whatever they got left, whatever they whatever they don't know they have, people going to take it. But when somebody walk up positive with their head up, have got that look like, bitch, try me. I'm the one, two, and the three. Then you gravitate to people who know how to treat somebody like that. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, so you a little fancy, huh? <laughs> And let I know where to take you. You feel me? You, 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 uh, you put out how you truly feel about yourself. So if you was getting negative people or users, it was because you felt like you needed to be used in a certain, state, a, a certain aspect. But that's not our portion. Victory is our portion. Can I get an amen? Amen. Okay. I just want to know. But anyway, Spirit said, somebody coming in that's about to give to you. Why? Because you worked on yourself. You studied yourself. You realized what you want. And you found your, your, your voice. Your throat chakra is working. I feel like you're starting to follow your intuition too. Your third eye starting to uh, waken up too. You're starting to see, see those characteristics in, in, in your person who made you feel left out in the cold and other people now around you like, uh-uh. I don't want you. I, I feel like you even starting to cut out people now that holds those same characteristics. And then we have the six of cups. Ooh, we got the six of pentacles, the six of cups. We get one more. It needs to be balanced. But yeah, this person from the past, you had a lot of passion towards and they kept you stuck in your head. It's like you always have to say, okay, well, well, I need to please them or I'm going to do what's best for me. Well, I can either make them happy or I need to do what's best for me. And every time you tried to do what was best for your other for your person, they made you feel like shit. Ain't nobody got time for that. Then we're going into 2021. If 2020 ain't taught you nothing, it's uh, let go what don't serve you and only deal with what do because tomorrow ain't promised. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, with this six of cups, this is somebody from the past. This is somebody that you felt that you could be grow old with. This is somebody that you keep reminiscing on. Oh, I wish I could have, would have. Oh, I wish if only they had loved me the way that, no, if only you had loved you the way you needed to love you, you would have seen that person went right for you in the get-go. But because you figured it out, now that's why you ain't even talking to them. You sleeping on them. Look, I ain't even got time for that. Why? Because you know something better is for you. Look, the motherfucker was juggling. They was juggling other people. They didn't know where to put you in their life because, shoot, they were still trying to figure that out. And we got the two of swords and the two of pinnacles. Ooh, we get one more two. It's a, this might be a soul tie or something. Yep, somebody had you in a third party situation with the three of cups. That's the reason why they wasn't trying to commit to you. If you're dealing with a woman, she probably liked women too. I'm just saying. And then we have the two of, I said if it was another two that was going to come out, right? This somebody that you have a really strong soul connection to. We got the two of wands. This is trying to figure out where you're going to go. So you still don't know if this person, in the month of November, Libra, I'm telling you right now, uh, you're going to have a lot of decision to make. You're going to have to see which, which do you want to go. Do you want to go back to that same thing? Do you want to go to this five of pentacles? Because right now you're healing. Right now you're not feeling so much left out because you feel like, you know, you have to work on yourself. But Spirit is saying in the month of November, there's going to be a situation where you're going to have to choose. We got the two of swords, we have the two of pentacles, and we have the two of wands. You're going to have to see if you want to if you want to bring somebody back into your mental capacity. If you want to put somebody actively in your life, meaning meaning that they meaning that they are going to your finance is going to be altered by them because if you bring them back up in your mind, you're going to be paying for something for them. And and with the two, it's like, am I going to act on this or not? Which direction am I going to go? Am I going to give to a situation that's going to give to me or I'm going to keep giving to a situation that ain't giving me shit, but a headache. And with the three of wands at the bottom of the deck, this is where I'm just trying to see what it's going to be. You need to figure that shit out right now because, uh, if it ain't worked for you in the past, it's not going to work for you in the present. And if you're trying to move forward from this from this heartache and stay out of this five of, five of pinnacle energy, you need to make up your mind. I ain't here to play with you. I'm here to tell you the truth. That's all I'm saying. All right, let me get this tar- Richard's Tarot real quick. Spirit, let me tap into this. Spirit, what is this? Uh, what is the Ace of Cups? Because you got somebody here that's going to come that wants to be, that, that's going to want to give to you like you give. But if you let this person from the past, this is going to be your test in November. Are you going to go back to that same old toxic cycle? Or are you going to go to somebody that really going to love you like you need to be loved? But it's all about self-love. If you don't love yourself, ain't nobody else going to love you. Point blank, period. 
All right, and then we got the Six of Cups. Okay, so we got the Six of Cups twice, 666. Six, six. Your person from the past needs balance. Uh, and, and this is a strong soul tie connection. It's somebody that you could have kids with, somebody that you could have a uh, that you could have been with in 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 in, in a uh, past life. But if you going back to them, we got six six six. Six 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 is an unbalanced number. 666 means somebody needs some type of healing. If it ain't your person, it's you. If you the toxic one, you need to you need to heal yourself. Because if you got kids with this person, they ain't gonna help them. If this person is toxic, you need to get away from that. And if you got kids with them, you take care of your kids, but you need to make it plain and clear. I don't care how hot and bothered this person makes you. But until then, you, you're gonna pass on generational curses if you have kids with them. And if you continue to be in this negative ass energy, then you are hindering yourself and you will not get what's best for you i'm just saying spirit what's this six of pentacles you on guard we got the six bro i can't make this up the six of pentacles is clarified by the six of pentacles the same thing, give and take. So you are on guard about giving to this person that's coming up because you know it's not equal. You know you're going to end up giving more than they're giving. At the end of the day, I'm not here to argue with you or your spirit, your energy, because you feel like this person is going to bring you this ten of cups. If they're not healed, they can't bring you shit but hard times. That's all I'm saying, Libra. So in the month of November, you're going to have a decision to make, and this is why you feel why you feel trapped because you really don't know what you're going to do right now. Well, all I can say is, um, do what's best for you. Because if you do go down this road again with somebody that you know is not healed or somebody's not going to give to you like that, that's like a whole nother nine year cycle of doing the same old stuff. Or you could get into your mind, you know what, this is not what I want. And spirit will bless you with the person that's going to love you like you need to be loved. But it's up to you. It's, it's what do you want? Sometimes people be like, use me, baby, use me up. What's that song? Uh... It's a baby. You, I don't know. It, it's basically you can use me all up. I ain't, I ain't the. You don't use. You ain't gonna use me up. Shit. That's all I gotta say. Karmic relationship. You can't make this up, yo. This is a karmic relationship. This is a relationship that you're supposed to learn from and move on. You know what I'm saying? You learn your lesson and then you leave. You learn your lesson and then you leave. Don't be them. Don't be like Tink Tink. Don't be Tink Tink Bubble the Fool. You keep running to that same old brick wall. Oop, there goes another rubber. Oop, there goes another rubber. Oop, there go. Don't keep doing that. You deserve you. You need to know you deserve more. Not just that, but the people that you may be taking care of. You they need to know you deserve more. Hell. And then we have talking, interest, conversation, more way message. Yeah, your person, the person from the past is about to start talking to you. Yeah, you resting on it now, but in November, they're going to they gonna hit you up and they're going to see if they still got a stronghold on you. And uh, <clears throat> from the looks of it, they might. So I just say right now, get grounded, meditate, because in November, you're going to have a big decision you're going to have to make. And uh, just make sure that you're putting yourself first, because if not, you will always be last. And this is from your sister. I'm telling you the truth. I love you. Love yourself. Like and subscribe.